All right. Uh, meanwhile, if you saw Rand Paul on television yesterday, it's interesting. He was talking about how he had tried to sign his family up for the Obamacare exchanges. The senator wants to be on them because so many other people are. Extraordinarily, because he's from Kentucky, turns out the state pretty much automatically enrolled his son in Medicaid. Not supposed to do that. Here's the senator. We didn't try to get him Medicaid. I'm trying to pay for his insurance, but they automatically enrolled him in Medicaid. For a month, they wouldn't talk to us because they said they weren't sure he existed. He had to go down to the welfare office, prove his existence. Then the next thing we know, we get a Medicaid card. So really, most of the people in Kentucky are automatically being enrolled in Medicaid. I'm trying to pay for insurance and can't pay for it. And I'm uncertain now whether I'm enrolled in D.C. and or Kentucky. And uh, it's a mess. Three quarters no of Kentucky's new enrollees of 72,000 are it's just an extension of Medicaid. Sure. Because they've loosened uh, the terms by which someone can be either, you know, able to join Medicaid or be forced into it. And there are some that are investigating as well whether that, uh, there was an original provision in there where um, the government could seize your assets if you're over a certain age right. um, under Medicaid. So is this a plan then to possibly... Um, sort of scoop up assets of people who normally wouldn't have them. So people are being enrolled right. in Medicaid that have assets that normally wouldn't um, pre-Obamacare. Plus it will also boost the number of people who got health care. And what we've heard from the White House is look at the millions of people who now have health care. Just one other thing later today, uh, the House is going to start, uh, and this is something the House uh, Republicans are going to do, they're going to uh, vote on a bill to safeguard this week against security breaches with Obamacare. Because of that, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid services came out yesterday with a statement that said, uh, so far, best as we know, nobody's actually broken the system. Nonetheless, that's what, uh, that's the drum that the Republicans are going to be beaten going forward. We're going to keep you posted on all those things. In the meantime, good